Hi, it's your girl Shay Janae back with another video every Wednesday at 12 o'clock. You already know. Go ahead and like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome to Shay Janae's world and check out the rest of my videos. And if you like this video, go ahead and drop a comment, share it to your social media, get the word out, help your girl out. Okay, boom. So let's go. You see, y'all don't understand nothing until somebody yelling at y'all. So let me put my mama voice on. Stop letting everybody watch your kid. You don't just let anybody watch your kid because you want to go out. So you're just going to drop your kid off here. You just give your kid to anybody like they just not a person. So this is the thing. People are always asking me to watch their kids. I be like, I don't even want to watch mine. Why, why I want to watch your kid for and then they be barely knowing me asking me to watch their kids like you don't even know if I'm crazy if I harm kids or anything so this is my thing why do people sit here and just let anybody watch their kids I do not get it but I'm gonna go to help y'all out on why you should keep your circle small because you have to protect your kids see y'all got too much trust I'm gonna tell you something keep your circle small and whatever's been working for you you gonna keep working but you keep it real small so when your kid go with somebody when they come home you always look at their body you always look how they act you have to pay attention listen to your kids your kids will tell you without not telling you that something is wrong and they don't want to go to their person's house so you have to make sure you paying attention and you don't just drop your kid off to anybody because people do harm kids people cuss at kids people touch kids so you can't just drop your kids off with anybody and shine up oh i dropped them off with my family members so all family members ain't good family members Hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. You got plenty of people who are always in the news, on social media. Oh, this person touching kids, this person abused kids and stuff. That's why you keep your circle small and you don't just drop your kids off to anybody. If your kid not at daycare or if it's your mom, dad, grandparents or something like that or their godparents, you don't need to be dropping your kid off to too many people. You need to keep it really, really small. So I'm going to stress this circle because this is how small this circle is supposed to be because you are a parent. You're supposed to protect your child and you can't protect your child if you're sending them off with the cousins, the brothers, the sisters, the aunties, the uncles, the grandparents, the grandmas, just all the way down the line. Every time you turn around, you're trying to go somewhere, go out and you drop dropping your kid off with the first person that's available and then y'all got the nerves to let y'all home girls y'all boyfriends watch him y'all girlfriends watch him like y'all got too much trust i'm gonna tell y'all something i've been out here dating right i've been out here talking to people the only person my son has been with the entire four years that i was single was going to arkansas with his god my man his family and then my mom I have not in the last four years, anybody I talked to, any boyfriend or anything, none of them have watched my child alone. When the when we together, we all together, baby. And with Carter walking out the room, I'm walking out the room. Baby, I don't have that much trust for nobody when it comes to my child. I keep my circle small. Now, later on, I get a husband and stuff, you know, like that. It is what it is. He's going to have to help me out. That's all fine and dandy, but baby, I ain't there yet. So what I'm saying is y'all got too much trust. Just turn on the news and look. Going out is not that important to your child's safety. You have to protect your kids. Don't just go laying your girlfriends and boyfriend watching them as if people like kids. Now I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to help y'all pick out some red flags too. When y'all sitting here dating people and y'all want these people that y'all dating to watch your kids. If you're talking to somebody and you tell them you have a kid and stuff like that, and they and they start to offer, oh, you know, why you go to work, I'll watch your kid. You know, I, I do all of that for you. You know, if you go want to go out or something, I'll watch your kid. Who asking to watch kids these days? Who asking? that, Baby, that is a red flag. Now, how it's supposed to happen is say you're supposed to go to work and your babysitter or something happened. Oh, 
didn't answer or the baby can't go to daycare today. And now your boyfriend or your girlfriend was like, well, you only going a couple hours. So, I mean, I'll watch him if you need if you need to go ahead and go to work if you don't want to call in. Okay, I can understand that one because they didn't say nothing about babysitting your kid until a situation came up. Now, all free willy-nilly from the get-go, I watch your kid, I babysit your little girl, I babysit your little boy, I do all of that for you. Nah, baby, that, that's too much for me at the beginning. That's a red flag for me because who is willingly going around watching kids? Ask me right now if I want to watch my own kid right now. My my son can be with his mama so his uh his uh, I'm about to say his mama his grandma or something right now. Like for real, who going around why I want to watch kids? We don't even want our own kids half of the time. And you telling me you got people out here offering to watch your kid? Now you know that's a red flag. So I want y'all to pay attention. And then as these kids go off with these family members and stuff like that, remember, everybody is suspect in my book, honey. Ain't nobody safe until you prove that you're safe. So once you get that safe ground where your kid is going with family members and they're safe, remember those family members and you keep that circle small. So if it's going to be grandparents and godparents only in daycare and school, that's it. Don't add on whatever has been working for you keep it because it's going to keep working for you it's the moment you start stepping out you start letting home girls home boys and different people like that watch your kid is when situations happen and we want to avoid the situations remember the whole point of this channel is to educate motivate and inspire you to become a, p a better person to inspire you to keep pushing and keep going but yet educating so I want y'all to understand the very, very importance of protecting your seed. This is your seed. You gave birth to this seed. You brought this seed into this world. You are supposed to protect your seed. You're not supposed to let anything happen to this child. And God knows it's enough situations out here in this world that stuff can happen. But protecting them from the wrong people is something you can do. All you have to do is open your eyes and pay attention. Now, when my son was first born and started going off, baby, when he comes to the house, I started taking clothes off, looking for marks, looking for anything. And then I watch how him and whoever he's going with interact. And if he's not acting like he's scared or don't want to go with something, we, we good. You have to pay attention even when your kids don't talk. Pay attention. That's all you got to do. You will know something is wrong. Your child will let you know something is wrong without even telling you something is wrong. So, again, protect your kids. Stop just letting anybody watch your kid. And dang show, don't ask me to watch your kid. Because I'm telling y'all, I got one son. I got one son for a reason. And he about going to be the only one. Because I don't want too many to be watching now. <laughs> He, and I'm going to tell you another reason why Shay don't watch other people's kids. Because you don't know what they have going at home and who else that they have watching their kid. And if that kid come up with any type of marks or anything to happen and an investigation gets started, they got to go all the way down the line. Now your name tangled up in all of this mess. Now you got to get your whereabouts, what y'all was doing when you had this child. Trust me, it be parents abusing their own kids. And then the school or somebody report these marks. And before they tell on themselves, they're going to like, oh, well, I did let Shay watch my kids. So uh, we're going to have to put her name down. They'll throw everybody else up under the bus before it get to you. So trust me, honey, I can't be watching other people's kids like that because of those situations. So I want you to pay attention. You have to be sure that these people parents are not harming them so don't be all free really and nearly trying to watch these people kids because i'm telling you like don't get yourself caught up in situations and life will be so much easier because i promise you don't want to get caught up in no child investigation because honey when it com becomes a child situation no honey People don't be playing about I those. I keep my circle small, and my son has been safe ever since. And I plan to keep it small. I don't want to add on. So, again, while you're out here dating, please, 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 even though I was joking in the video a little bit in certain parts, I want you to understand and be careful with these boyfriend and girlfriends watching your kids. Be very, very careful. Look for those red flags when people are asking to watch your kid. 
please 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 days are those are red flags people are not going around asking to watch kids and if they are you can already tell something is off with that picture and you need to make sure you don't put yourself in this situation it's so many people out here that will say oh i want to help you oh i want to do this every move you make is for you and your child so you have to think five steps ahead when it comes to your child so please 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 again i can't stress enough how serious it is on letting other people watch your kids you know it's okay to skip going out that night it's okay to not go out with the homeboys that night because your babysitter is because your babysitter or your daycare isn't available or your grandparents isn't available or their godparents isn't available it's okay miss that stay at home bond with your kid don't just send them off with anybody don't just send them off with no homegirls no homeboys again everybody is not good with kids and everybody is not going to treat your kid like you it's a, a rule of thumb this is what i use right here for a good rule of thumb nobody in this world is going to treat your kid like you so you have to find somebody that at least treats your child 75% of what you a teach See, it ain't no sugar coating up on this channel. So we're going to go ahead and end this video because I done gave y'all my two cent. And I hope y'all listen to me. So again, stop letting anybody watch your kid. And please don't ask me to watch your kid because I'm not, I'm not watching nobody else's kid. I got my own child. Okay. I got my own kid. Did nobody tell you to go out and have four, five, six, and you want to be Daisha, Bonisha, Krispy Kreme, and everybody else up over here to get babysit? No. This ain't no daycare. I'm not babysitting nobody's kids, okay?